today is an exciting day for the Danchi Ridge Rock because it receives its last major modification. But before I did that, I wanted to upgrade the steering arms to aluminum. The steering linkage is Traxxas 5347 ends with all thread and brake line. Also made a custom servo arm. Today's modification is to lower the center of gravity of the truck, which means I'm going to be lowering the body and the battery while keeping the ride height the same. In order to do that, I designed a new chassis. The chassis is a 3mm thick FR4 material. It's similar to carbon fiber, but using glass fibers instead. It is typically used in the electronic circuit boards. The chassis is designed to run in a full droop setup. As you can see, I have multiple locations for the shocks and upper links. I designed it to be a drop-in replacement, keeping the upper and lower links without modifications. When designing the skid plate, I debated on leaving enough room for a second ESC, but I decided not to because of the potential for hanging up on the rocks. I also wanted to use plastic, but I don't have access to a 3D printer. I used some metal from a home improvement store and offset the skid to be more forward biased. So the first thing is to disconnect the electronics and tear down the truck into its two halves. Here is a size comparison between the two chassis. The new chassis is about two and a half ounces heavier than the stock one. Time to drop in the new chassis. I'm going to be working on the lower links first, the upper links, the body mounts, and finally the shocks. Now that all my linkages and body mounts are on, I'm going to go ahead and remove the spring cups, the springs, and the external limiters. As you can see, the links are nearly level, and the caster on both ends looks pretty good. Now what I have to do is mount the electronics. Here's a quick look with the body on. Before we get the electronics, I was messing around with the truck and checking out the articulation. It's a lot more articulation than I'm used to. And that much articulation with this type of setup will actually change the wheelbase as the chassis moves from side to side. So doing some measurements, I know that my pen springs and the shocks are about an inch long. So if I could limit the amount of pen spring, I could limit the amount of flex. So I'm going to take off the, uh, the shocks and try a small spacer over the pen spring and see if that limits my articulation. I did some work to the shocks off camera and originally I just had the pen spring underneath the piston but then I had the idea of using the pen spring and some tubing so it would have a little bit of give and a hard stop but when I reassembled them and put them on I still had a lot of flex so what I decided is just to go with a full hard stop um, this is 25 millimeters long and I'm just going to run my shaft through and install this into my shock body. All four shocks are mounted up and I'm, right now I'm getting about four inches of flex. It's a little bit less than I was expecting but if I wanted to I could go back into my shocks and shorten that spacer a little bit. I am running 45 weight so we're going to see how that works on the rocks and now let's uh, mount our electronics. Here's a bird's eye view of the chassis. This is the front here. I'm going to relocate these two wires over to the other side of the upper link. And maybe let me put the ESC here so I have enough room to get to the programming port. And the battery is going to go here using a Velcro. And for the receiver, I'm just going to probably attach it to one of the sides of the chassis. Everything mounted up quite nicely. I have my receiver here, uh, double sided tape and one zip tie. The antenna runs around across the brace and down the side of the chassis. Um, got my, my Velcro for the battery and my ESC. It looks like a little bit of a mess, but everything is um, neatly in place. Um, I don't really see it moving too much. You may have noticed earlier there was a notch cut out in the chassis. That was to allow the wire for the switch. The shock travel is limited to a quarter inch, which equates to four inches of wheel travel. From idea to final product, the chassis took four months of work. The hardest part about putting this chassis together was the shocks. 
It's a great feeling when you come to the end of a build. From the stock chassis to the modified chassis, the battery was lowered one and a half inches and the body one inch. The weight of the truck ready to run is just under five pounds. I hope you found this interesting and when the weather breaks we'll go out and see how it performs. Thanks for watching.